Welcome everybody to the summer reading program um, party. We're so excited to have you here and for you to, guys to be watching. We want to thank you all so much for participating throughout this uh, summer. It's been so much fun getting to know you guys, um, creating book bundles for you and craft kits. We are... Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Artis is putting her mask all over her face and it's quite funny. We wish you could see it. And now I'm starting to get red. But as I was saying, we're so excited to have you guys here to, to have participated throughout the summer. It's been great to see your submissions for our challenges every week. We've been seeing them and loving them. You guys are so creative and it looks like you guys have been having a super fun summer which we're so glad to see. So a little bit of our agenda today, we're going to be um, giving out award, our awards for the summer reading program, like the Spirit Award, um, Attendance Award, um, most books read as well. And we've got some really special prizes that we're gonna be drawing for as well. Before I pass it over to artists, I we all wanted here at the Cochrane Public Library to thank the Cochrane's Lion Club, uh, Lions Club once again for their amazing donation. We could not do the summer reading program without you. And now I'm going to pass it over to Artis. I feel like I'm in school again here, the way she's got me posted here. Okay, so. We are going to do some of these awards and they're each sponsored by someone else. So I pass me one at random. I'm good. Whoever wants to pass me. One. Okay. So this one is the most book reports and it is sponsored by the station in restaurant. Ironically enough, they don't technically exist anymore. So they're known as 49 parallel. That's who has sponsored this one. And of course, as always, YNS is very nice and they engrave them for us. Yo, I see, I knew I was gonna get a smile there, yay. <laughs> okay, so this one, and it still sports our old logo. So the winner is going to end up on another spot, right about there. And then these are upstairs on the wall in the library. So you can check them out anytime you would like to. So without further ado, so for most book reports, we've got, gotta read my paper here. <clears throat> For ages zero to five is Miss Elizabeth Shador. A Shador getting most book reports. <laughs> what can I say? And then for the older ages, it's Sadie Pope. <gasps> so congratulations, Sadie. You're going to have your name on that little plaque that's going to be upstairs for most book reports. That's a really good. So good for you. Okay, so let's do the next one. I do these fairly quick. I'm not as elaborate as Miss Hillary. <laughs> okay, this one is called the Library Spirit Award. And this one is sponsored by YNS Incorporated. Woo! Uh, the idea of this one is Library Spirit is generally done when it was not a pandemic. You would dress up in different outfits at the different week themes. So the theme could be maybe crazy hair, stuff like that. But because it's a pandemic, we did it a little bit different. A library spirit is actually gauged by the most participation on our online challenges. So there's lots of photos for talent, for we did nature. I think we did some other ones to do with, can you remember them all? For online? Yeah, we did the weekly challenges. So there's nature, there was talent. Water water building so there was a few different ones and it was this was gauged by the most participation so there's two families that participated the most for that the first family is a hoog hound family so congratulations to them they're going to have their names on there as well as the McNabb family so both of them are getting the spirit award and of course, because they have multiple kids, I can't write all the kids' names, so we're just going to put the last name with family. That's what happens when there's lots of babies. I know how it goes. Okay, this one is the Attendance Award, and it is sponsored by Lo uh, Rose Lotzenberg. 
And obviously, attendance is when you show up, which is very important. And because we're doing everything virtually, a lot of this has to do with actually coming to the Zoom meetings and getting the kits. So that's what's qualified for this one. And again, the people will have their names right there. And it will be upstairs in the library for them, for everyone to see as well as themselves. So for that one, for ages zero to five, the winner is Marika Hessels. So congratulations. And then for the older ages, the winner is Sadie Pope. Whoa. He's taking them all away today. Way to go, Sadie. And then we have the final award. And this one again, this is just a, this one was specially sponsored by a patron, a library patron who wants to remain nameless. And they have since moved away, but we are very graciously honored by all the things that they've done for the library. They know who they are. and They're likely going to watch this recording. Um, this is for most books read. And this one is always a challenge because generally people would bring their little passports in with all their books written and we would count that, but we have to do it differently in a pandemic. So what we had to do is go in our system and see how many books that they've read. Now that's not always an accurate number because obviously there's books at home that you read. You might get books from your friends, but this is what we're gauging it off of is what you take out of the library. So let's see what we've got here. For the most books read, and I know in the whole tally of all the books overall in the TV Summer Reading Club, over the course of June, July, and this part of August, you've read over well over 1,500 books. So you should all be very, very proud about that. The youngest one to read the most books is Thora Renault. So congratulations, Thora. And definitely know that Thora enjoys Sesame Street, just saying. <laughs> and then we have for the older ages, it's a little bit of a tie because they're siblings. We've got Russell and Eve Southward. So congratulations to you. You had the most books read in the older age category. Your names are going to be on the plaque that will be upstairs in the text zone. That is all the awards that are done by statistics stuff, all that boring stuff. You don't want to hear about math. It's not school time yet, but that's all those awards. Now we have something bigger and better. And I'm going to get Heather to come in and she is going to draw some prizes. We have three prizes. She's going to, we're going to show them to you and then she's going to draw them and good luck. Cross your fingers. Even if you're not attending this meeting, um, at, or if only you attended half the program, whatever, everybody who signed up for TD summer reading club, their name was put into this draw. So without further ado, here's Miss Heather. Hi. So we have three prizes today. Uh, we will start with the smallest in size, but not in fun. It is the Ring Toss Game Set. Ooh, ah. <laughs> so I'm going to reach into my handy dandy bucket that's appropriately labeled and pull out our first name. The winner of this prize is Eve Southward, Ooh. who I just heard read a whole lot of books this summer. So congratulations, Eve. Oh, goodness, I'm losing my sheet. Okay, and then our next one, our next prize that we have is Disc Smash, which I believe is where we are throwing discs and trying to land them into little buckets there. So a good way to get outside and enjoy what we have left of summer. So I'm gonna shake my bucket up again. I'm gonna reach in here. Let's see what we got. Trying not to peek. Okay, so this is for Peyton Farquhar. Yay, Peyton! And then we've got the big one, as artists put it. This is a 3D ocean quick set pool. So it is a pretty sizable pool, I think. And we got some goggles that come with it. There's some 
sea creatures floating around in there. And this is going to be amazing for this heat that we've got right now. So I'm excited to find out who wins this one and hopefully they will invite us all over for a pool party. <laughs> so the winner of this giant prize, I've got one stuck in my fingers here, is Zoe Boyer. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> all right, and uh, the details for our prize winners, they can pick them up uh, curbside. Monday curbside pickup. So our Actually, curbside orders are uh, available from Monday to Friday from 10 until 5. So they can come by at their leisure. And I'm passing it back to Hillary now for closing remarks. <laughs> we are very formal here at the Cochrane Public Library. Well, guys, congratulations to everybody that won awards who won prizes today. But as fun as that all is, we hope you had a wonderful summer with us at the library. It has been so much fun, like I said, seeing you all over Zoom, seeing you come into the library and getting your books and allowing us to help you pick out your books and to just getting to know you, seeing friendly faces. Woo! Not many people can say that. Um, if you enjoyed the Summer Reading Club, you can send us an email at library at CochraneOntario.com. I got it. Um, so again, that's library at CochraneOntario.com. Let us know what you loved about it. Tell us how much you love uh, all of us. Um, tell us what your favorite part was, what your favorite book that you read this summer was. Um, if you haven't already, um, for all updates on the library, you can like us on our Facebook page at Cochrane, Cochrane Public Library. That was just, <laughs> took me a second there. Um, make, check our website at www.cochranepubliclibrary.com. You can check out all the YouTube videos that we posted this summer on our YouTube channel at Cochrane Public Library. I guess you guys are all sensing a, a theme here. Um, and if you want, we're also on Instagram as well at Cochrane Public Library. Oh, and okay, breaking news! Breaking news! I'm just learning about this with all of you. We are going to be on TikTok. Do we know our username? I'm not yet, but we will update you on all our other social medias. So look out for that. Thank you all again for participating and coming and watching this Zoom and this video. Yes, a very big thank you. Artists and I are on the same wavelength. A very big thank you once again to the Cochrane's Lions, Lions Club. Once again, we could not do this without you. And you guys are such an essential part of our community. So guys, that's all for us. Have a wonderful rest of your summer and we hope you to see you soon. Bye.